Today we're gonna to talk about batteries. They're normally pretty boring. It's just one big block of thing that provides you energy. But when you combine it with solar panels and a hybrid inverter, it can actually help you save money over the long run. If you have people install solar for you, it's gonna cost a certain amount. If you buy a fully contained battery with inverter system, it's gonna cost a little bit lower, but also a certain amount. But if you go and do the DIY way, it's gonna cost even less. Right now it costs about $620 each. I'll have have a 5% off coupon code so that'll bring it down a little bit further down. I purchased a whole array of stuff to go with this for about $800 or so. So 600, 600, 800, you got $2,000 of total system cost for a five kilowatt system with 3000 watt output power. Now you have other systems that has a battery, has an inverter, everything all built into one big block. Let's take a look how much those cost on Amazon. For this system that I'm about to build, it costs around $1,950. An Anchor Soli F2000 with four kilowatt of capacity, so quite a bit lower, and 2,300 watt output, it costs $2,600. So over $600 more than the DIY way. I bought a Chin's 24 volt 3000 watt inverter for $465. That's the main cost. Other things that cost significant amounts are the wires. These are copper wires and they're heavy and expensive. There are circuit breakers that you must have between every power source, including the solar, the AC you're using to charge the whole system between the inverter and the battery. So all of this, I added up and it's still $1,950. I mounted the board on two studs using a stud finder. It's recommended to have 200 millimeters of clearance all around the inverter. I started mounting all the breakers onto the board and then I cut the wire to size, terminated them properly. This whole time the breakers were all off. Then I added the eight gauge wires for the PV panels and also the AC outputs. I've got everything running smoothly now. So the test is can we run three kilowatts out of these batteries continuously. Let me turn this guy on and also the hairdryer. I will put it on 120 amps or so. If I turn on the 1500 watt heater, we see around 60 amp output and also the hairdryer, 120 amps. And the inverter says it's at 100% right now. Getting about two kilowatt hour a day, it's more than enough to power my entire desk setup. That's why I have this extension cable here and I normally, plug my desk into this thing and I run my entire desk including the monitor, the laptop, the light surrounding it, everything off of this plug here. So it's been recharging itself and I was able to take all of this completely off grid. You might not be able to afford an entire house backup system but you can buy a smaller system, put some of the things solely on solar power and battery backup power, and you can slowly work your way towards reducing your entire electric bill down to zero. If you guys are interested in getting the Golden Mate battery, you can actually put up to four in series, four in parallel if you want, so huge capacity here. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.